Hello, President Dan Jackson. My name is Drake Ellison, and I just wanted to make this video to say hello and say how wonderful I thought is this thing on was last night. I thought you were spot on with most of your answers, and I, I, I'm truly proud to have you as our NAD president. The only thing I had issue with was your answers to questions involving LGBT people, especially when you said that they should not be given membership to SDA churches. Here's the thing. I am LGBT. I am transgender. I'm queer. And the Seventh-day Adventist Church is a part of my blood. I joined the church when I was 17, completely on my own without my family. And the church became like a second family for me. And when I came out as transgender, and I went through this whole arguing process with the church about that, it broke my heart and I felt that I had to leave so I had my membership revoked. I have regretted that decision just about every day since it went through because God has been showing me that everybody's got a story and everybody's story is important and everybody's a sinner and imperfect, but together we create this wonderful mess that God can use. Whether we are addicted to pornography, or are caught in adultery, or whether we don't take care of our bodies, or whether we are LGBT, every one of us has a story, and every one of us can be used by God, because none of us is perfect. And saying things like certain groups of people should not be given membership does not further the gospel, it hinders it. Because it is saying that one group of people who is just as imperfect as everybody else cannot be shown the way to God. Um... I was studying religious studies before I came out. I have preached. I have taught Sabbath school. I have gone on mission trips. The latest one I went to was Fort McMurray here in Canada where they had all those fires. I believe that God can use me just as much as he can use anybody else. And one of the hardest parts of being transgender and knowing that I'm transgender and knowing that that will never change is the fact that I will never be able to pursue pastoral ministry in the church that has taken up root in my heart. So please, Pastor Dan Jackson, be careful what you say because you never know who you might hurt. The world is watching you.